How's it going? This is Peter from the Film Scoring Department at Berklee College of Music. Today I'm going to be working with Pro Tools version 11.3 and Reason version 8.3 together connected by Rewire. If you haven't done this, the most basic way I could describe it is that it's sort of using two DAWs, Pro Tools and Reason, but with Reason nested inside of Pro Tools, connected by a thing called Rewire. And in this process, Reason becomes an instrument track inside of Pro Tools. It's important before you start this that you just quit everything, especially DAWs. The Rewire protocol thinks of a DAW that's already running as the master and then makes Reason become a slave. So quit everything first and then it'll know what you're trying to do. Now I'm launching Pro Tools, and I'm just going to create a brand new session. You can use whatever settings your project requires. And for me, on this project, I'm going to use the WAV format audio file, the 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate, the 16-bit file depth with interleaved files. And I'll just save this on my desktop so I know where it is and I'll name it something using my naming convention for my project. I have a blank session and I'm going to create two new tracks from the tracks menu, new, and I get this dialog box for creating new tracks. Incidentally, you may want to use the key command for making new tracks. If so, let me, I'll hit cancel here. You can see uh, by looking at the uh, track menu, it's shift command N brings up that same dialog box. I need one MIDI track. I'm going to hit the plus sign because I also need one stereo instrument track. And I hit the create button. MIDI track I'm going to name synth and I can use this next button to keep the same dialog box up and just move me on to naming the instrument track, which I'll name Reason. Looks like my Reason track doesn't have an output yet, so I'll click on the output button and select the output of my computer. I'm gonna need that. And I won't select an output yet for my MIDI track until I've established what's going on in this instrument track. You need to be able to see the inserts column to create the reason insert in this instrument track. And so if you don't see this column here in your display, click on this little triangle here and check inserts A through E. And now you should have some options available. The number of inserts that are available there might vary depending on how tall your track is. Doesn't matter, you only need one to do this. Click on one of the inserts, then select multi channel plugin heading, then the instrument folder, and then reason. A couple things are going to happen right away. This control panel in Pro Tools pops up for the insert of Rewire and Reason. And we'll come back to that control panel in just a second. First, let's just let allow Reason to get launched and running. I'm going to close Reason's sequencer because I don't really need that at the moment. I'm going to select any default devices in Reason that I don't need using click and shift click. 
and Command Delete to remove them without a dialog box. And I'm going to go to the Reason Preferences shortcut Command Comma and disable any keyboards. Uh, for example, if this was checked, I would uncheck it so that all the MIDI coming into Reason is coming via Pro Tools. Setting this up so that Reason is just an instrument device inside of an instrument track in Pro Tools. All right, I'm going to move this aside a little bit so that we can come back to Pro Tools. For Reason, the output, I'm going to select the main mix output of Reason. By the way, that corresponds to, if we look at the audio I.O. control panel in Reason and use the tab key to flip Reason, that corresponds to this output section here in Reason. There's a number of outputs available. My mixer is connected to the main pair, one and two, right here. All my sound will arrive at one and two. And so in Pro Tools, I've selected that main mix pair as the source of how what sound comes into this instrument track in Pro Tools. I can close this control panel now. I'm going to use one of these subtractor analog synthesizers in Reason. So I'll just drag it in. I'm just going to use the default patch that came up for this example. For the output of my MIDI track, Synth, if I click on the Output tab, you'll notice now that that default patch from my Reason project, the bass guitar patch, is now available here. It's the first thing on this list. You may have also noticed there's a second channel available. That's not the, the uh, device itself. That's the, the mix channel, controlling the volume of the mix channel. So I'll select this first entry, bass guitar channel 3, as the output of this MIDI track. And I'll arm the MIDI track and I'll play my MIDI keyboard. What's happening here, what you're seeing and hearing, is that the MIDI track in Pro Tools sends MIDI to Reason. And those notes are played by the subtractor in Reason. And the sound of the subtractor is returned to this instrument track in Pro Tools. And you can see the levels. And in this way, I can use Reason as an instrument in Pro Tools. I can also add more MIDI tracks and more devices in the single occurrence of Reason and all the sound of all of them can return here in this instrument track.